Hello and welcome to Expo's Be an Expert training program on the auto testing functionalities on the Max Tester 635. Over the years, there's been a huge push to make test equipment that can not only support the latest technologies, but also help technicians become more efficient and more accurate with their testing. What we've done on the Max Tester is created a full suite of automated testing functions, aiding technicians to reach these goals. All that's necessary on the user's end is to connect the unit and press a single button. The unit will then run a full suite of tests and then compare the results to pre-programmed thresholds and they'll get a simple pass or fail. Beginning with the POTS auto test, this test is checking all the dial tone metrics available to ensure that the customer's voice telephone circuit is in perfect health. Once you begin running a test, you'll see that the first check being completed is a current test. With this, we're checking to see if an active line is detected. If none is detected, the test will stop and give you a clear warning. If all is well, you'll see the measured value and then a green check for pass or red X for fail. The next test being completed is a loss test. What's happening here is the unit is dialing into your milliwatt number and then waits for the test tone. Once the tone is detected, it will measure the level of the tone and calculate the loss. Again, the tester will compare the result against the threshold and say pass or fail. The next step is the power influence, VF noise, and VF balance tests. All three of these tests are run against the quiet line. So after the loss test is complete, the unit will hang up and then dial your quiet line. Once silence is detected, the unit will run the three tests mentioned back to back. If everything comes up pass, you can be sure that the dial tone is on a line that is healthy. If you get a fail, it's now time to check your pair and determine the fault. To aid in fault identification, we use the user auto test. The benefit to this test is that the unit will run all the tests you've selected, one after another, and clearly report a pass or fail based on the thresholds entered. So after selecting the user auto test, you'll first want to highlight and choose test selection. This is where you can turn on or off any of the copper tests this unit is capable of running. On the left of the screen, you'll see the name of the test, and on the right, will let you know if it's enabled or disabled. Below each test is a function called pause, which is either turned on or off. The pause function is used to halt the auto test while you change the line state. An example of this is running the capacitance test, which requires the far end to be open, and then running a resistive balance test, which requires all the ends to be shorted. The pause comes into play, so it will halt after the capacitance test is completed and prompt you to change the line status for the next resistive balance test. For our example test, I'm going to set up the auto test to pre-qualify a pair that's open, avoiding any need to go to the far end to place a short. Once we've configured our auto test, we're now ready to go. Now moving to a completed test, we can see pass or fail based on the threshold set within the unit. As the tests are running or completed, you're able to see the results by simply navigating the tabs at the bottom of the screen. The unit will list all the tests even if they've been disabled. Only the tests that were run will actually show result, so just keep that in mind when you're navigating the unit. Use of the user auto test can aid a technician to quickly run a full suite of tests to qualify a cable pair. No more fumbling around going from test to test. And also with the set threshold, the user can easily determine if they can move on with the job or continue qualifying or troubleshooting the circuit. 